It seems like right now, playing Ver Flames of War version 4, there's no shortage of accessories. Every month there's new releases, and amongst like new miniatures and such coming out, you also have extra products. So today we're going to take a look at the command card for the Desert Rat, Africa Core, the Fog of War objective cards, destroyed markers, and smoke bombardment markers. So let's take a look at the markers themselves. First up, the destroyed markers. Now I've already been using these, so they've already come assembled, but they do come unassembled. And there's four creep pieces to each marker. You will have the main flame, the base, ooh, hello, and the two side flames. And they just plug it right in there. So like I could pop this guy out and boom. So you just slap them together and you're good to go. When a tank goes boom, remove the turret, pop it on there. Now I've been using these for Battletech right now because I still haven't had a chance to play a game of version 4 lately. So um, if you watch my Battletech videos, you'll start seeing these pop up a little bit more. So I haven't cracked the smoke bombardment markers. So I'll go ahead and crack one of these right up now and assemble for you. Show you what it looks like. Boom. There we go. Smoke. Um, you could use this for any game, I think, really. Uh, I, I, I will be using this for Battletech as well. These really have cross-game appeal. Might be able to use them for Rogue Stars to represent grenades or explosions or something like that. 40k might get some use, who knows. But for Flames of War and for Battletech, definitely will get used. All right, next thing we're gonna look at are the command cards. First up will be the Desert Rats, and I'm not gonna crack it open, because it was a bitch to open without damaging the, uh, the box. When you open up the pack of cards, you'll have the command card rules, which explain the rules for buying these and adding these to your force, how to play them, and then the common uh, common command card keywords tongue-tied there. And of course, breaking down with a nice, simple template to show you what is what. Obviously, card title, rules text, points, keywords, and flavor text. The British pack has a new type of unit, which is going to be that soft skin transport. A um, couple heroes in there, Pip Roberts, John Curry. And then you'll have some other stuff in there, like Sticky Bombs, Plan Raid, Tenacity, Artillery Expert, and you keep going through. Indian Motor Company's there. So this allows you to have a little bit more flexibility or variety in your army list if you're bored or you feel like that um, army book that initially came out is very limited this you know this gives it a little bit of spice now some of these are actually will have crossovers in the Africa Corps pack and I think that's just for balance purposes and I'm also probably sure that when we get the US and Italian packs coming out down the road, that'll be the case as well. So let's take a look at the German. Again, get the command card rules and breaks it down. Oh wow, look, that looks familiar. Soft skin transport, rapid fire, clever Hans. Now, you, if you've played Flames of War before, these are your tank ace abilities for your Tigers, just now in card form. And if for those that were wondering where Rommel was, there he is. I will be taking him, I think, every game. And then you have some German-specific abilities, just like in the British pack. And then again, as you flip through, you have stuff that is crossover where it's double. There are some some crossover things like cut them down and capture tank. I gotta th say though, the card stock on these
pretty thick. Not bad. I'm still gonna put these in card sleeves though. Now the Fog of War objective cards. These are gonna change the game. So the Fog of War mission cards are shared between both players. So you only need one deck. So for me, playing with my father-in-law, he doesn't need to buy a pack. We're just gonna use this one. It allows you to play missions with objectives uh, that vary from game to game, and I'm just reading here, and even during the game. They can be used two separate ways, shared deck or with constructed decks. Now, it does give you the instructions on how to construct the deck, which everybody can have their own. Um, I think it'd be better for funsies just to use the shared deck, just for the sheer randomness of it all. But I mean, it's your game, your game table, you do what you want. Here's the setup there. So players will follow the setup instructions for the free-for-all or dust-up mission in the bolt rulebook, and you don't place any objectives. Obviously, because these will replace them. So you set a point that you're gonna need to points total that you're gonna need to complete the game. They recommend a four to six points will result in a quick game. Or you can choose ten points that will create a longer game. However, their their suggestion is to split the difference and go for eight points, and that's how you determine who wins. So at the start of your return, the player draws three Fog of War cards and chooses one to play and plays the other two, places the other two on the bottom of the deck. If the player has already three Fog of War cards in play, they don't draw any more cards until some of the ones in play have been completed. So and you score points based on what's on the card. Capturing Fog of War objectives are held the same way as regular objectives. See page 102 in the rulebook. And then you got a couple key words for your objectives. Hidden, reveal, and persistent. And of course, for more information, visit flamesofwar.com. So they have their card back. Is that right there? Nice and generic. These are going to go into card sleeves as well. And you get a nice. You get double of each. So a couple of these can pop up multiple times in the game, or for both players. objectives scout towner forest line in the sand so oh wow scout their perimeters uh if you play to eight that could that could do it right there wow but i think they're gonna add a little bit more variety and spice to the game uh obviously once i start being able to play it but i think to any game um if you're done playing the scenarios in the book and you want to try something different i think those are worthwhile the artillery template, yay! Er, manly man. Much like the range ruler, it's made of the same transparent acrylic with the graphic inlaid on it. So it looks pretty cool when you put it over the battlefield and over targets that you're gonna bomb back to hell. So all these accessories really necessary? Honestly not. You could go buy some cotton balls and get the same effect for these. You could run a photocopy of a template in a previous version of Flames of War, find a generic version online, print it off on your printer, cut it out, and just a piece of paper on top. And for the cards, you really need them, you don't. But for me, I like having really nice visual representation and aids. So the, the markers are a must. The template I didn't have a template before in previous versions in version 3 I had to rely on my you know my buddies having one so I'm just happy to have one and I think it's really cool too with the effect of the inlaid graphic on the clear acrylic and for the cards I'm a sucker for cards I'm I come from a CG, CCG background so cards are nice and I actually really like the ability to customize armies more with the cards, uh, kind of like X-Wing or Armada. I'm just really looking forward to that. And then any type of way to change the game or make it more random, th those, those Fog of War objective cards I think are going to be great. Because nothing ever goes smoothly on the battlefield. Nothing ever really has. So that's going to be a little bit more randomness. 
and I think better representative of the crap that goes on the battlefield. Of course, I've never seen battles, so I don't know. Just read about it. Play a lot of miniature games about it, too. But if you found this helpful, just click the like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. If you didn't find it helpful, leave me a comment anyway. I love to have any type of input, or if there's something I missed, I can go back and maybe add something down the road or address it down the road. Just let me know.